We are next going to learn about scientific notation and expanded form. Uh, we are going to learn how to express and compare numbers using expanded form and scientific notation. And I've actually decided that I'm going to split these up into two separate lessons. So our first is going to be on scientific notation. And so let's move on and learn how to uh, express and compare numbers using scientific notation. So what is scientific notation? Scientific notation is when you write a number as a decimal between 1 and 10 and multiply it by a power of 10. It sounds kind of complicated, but once we go through it, it won't be so complicated. Really, the basic understanding of it is you, you take a really big number, or any number, and you could make it uh, into a much smaller um, math sentence that's a little bit easier to understand or at least to write. Uh, it's kind of like Ant-Man who can shrink himself down when he wants to and then make himself real big. Oh, except right now he can't make himself real big. So we'll just get rid of Ant-Man because he made this joke awkward. Um, so scientific notation. We're going to look at step one. Step one is write a number as a decimal between 1 and 10, okay? This part we'll save for step 2. Let's take the number 70,120. We're going to turn this number into uh, a decimal between 1 and 10. How do we do that, and why do we do that? Two different questions, but first, to turn it into a decimal between 1 and 10, we're going to put this here. Okay, we're going to put the decimal right there. You see, it'll make it really big. Okay. We do this only because later on in step two, we are going to uh, do this part where we're going to multiply it. So we're going to make it, uh, turn it back into this big number uh, afterwards. But step one is learning how to write a number as a decimal between one and ten. Okay. So step one is 70,120 uh, gets changed into 7 decimal uh, 0, 1, 2, and you actually don't need to write uh, the zeros at the end. In step two, we are going to now multiply this by a power of 10. And uh oh, our decimal disappeared. It's a magic decimal. The decimal is back. And the zero is gone, so we are now going to multiply this by a power of ten. So we're gonna go so it's seven decimal zero one two okay times ten. Okay, ten is always your base when you're using scientific notation, and we're gonna multiply it by a power of ten. How do we figure out what we're gonna multiply it by? Well you have to take a look at what the original number was, which is seventy thousand. 120. You're going to count the places behind where you put the decimal. So we put the decimal here, so we're going to count one, two, three, four places. Okay, even though we got rid of the zero, you still count that because uh, it's part of the number. Okay, without that uh, and without the decimal, you just have 7,012. That's a much different number than 70,012. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four places. Our power is going to be uh, four, or some resemblance of four. We're going to take a look at the math. So we have our number. Uh, so seven decimal zero one two times ten to the power of four. Yeah, we haven't done bad math yet, but you have to, we have to do the exponent first. Uh, so this equals seven decimal zero one two times uh, ten to the power of four is really ten times ten times ten times ten. Bring all this down times. Okay, this is a hundred. Ten times ten is a hundred. 100 times 100 is 10,000. I'm just going to write that in here. Okay. And uh, this math that I kind of crammed in the middle there, that's just uh, mental math that I'm just showing you how I got to 10,000. And so we have 
um, 7.012 times 10,000. Okay, this 7 is going to uh, come here. We can just write out this and 2. Uh, and this is important. This 10,000 here is going to move the decimal over four decimal places. Okay, uh, which is going to give us back our 0 that we got rid of uh, from the beginning. Okay, and that is why uh, 7 decimal 0, 1, 2 times 10 to the power of 4 equals uh, 70,120. We're just going to do some examples real quick and actually pause this video and uh, try these out before we move on. Okay, you should have paused this video and if not, uh, you probably don't understand and which is cool too, you can go back and watch uh, from the beginning, or you can watch this part again. So we have, as our first one, we have 90,210. Okay, so as I said in the beginning, we're going to write it out. I'm just going to drop this zero because we don't need to write that zero there. We're going to put the decimal in right beside the nine. So now we have a, a number between one and ten, which is important. Okay, we're going to go times 10. Okay, remember 10 is always our base when we're doing this. And we're going to just count out the numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, there's four place values after the first number. So we are going to get um, an exponent of 4. Okay. So that's 90,210 in scientific notation. Let's go to 13. 13 as scientific notation is 1 decimal 3 times 10. Okay, sorry, it's 1 decimal 3 because that uh, decimal is going to go right here. Times 10 to the power of, you can pause the video here and see if you can put figure out what the power would be. And it is the power of 1. And now we have, so we have 1.3 times 10 to the power of 1. Okay, and last we have 4,200,000, uh, and as a, a scientific notation, it is 4 decimal 2, gives us our decimal between 1 and 10, times 10 to the power of and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, 4.2 times 10 to the power of 6. And scientific notation works all because of something called equality, which is uh, a really important concept to know in math. It's just that this number, even though it's a decimal, okay, when you multiply it by an, uh, uh, t an exponent uh, based off the number 10, okay, it gives you a number that's equal to this. Okay, so 13 is the same as 1.3 times 10 to the power of 1. Okay, 4,200,000 is the same as 4.2 times 10 to the power of 6. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask somebody. Watch the video again. Um, search the internet. There's lots of places you can find an answer.